Brock the Yahawa, Brockatha, Yahawasha, Brock the Yahawa, Brockatha, Yahawasha, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Abraham's Bosom, a resting only for the Israelites. Luke 16 and 22. And it came to pass that the beggar, referring to Lazarus, who is a representation for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. The rich man is symbolic for the international bankers. Okay. Um, or also the nobility of Edom. Now, this is the point. When we focus on bosom, according to the Greek. Strong's G, 2859, Kalpas, Kalpas. And according to theirs, Greek lexicon. To obtain the seat next to Abraham, example given, to be partaker of the same blessedness as Abraham in paradise. This paradise or this bosom is referring to the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahweh. To be born away or to be carried away to the enjoyment of the same felicity with Abraham, Felicity, and according to freedictionary.com, Felicity. Felicity. Means what? Great happiness. Great happiness. Right? So, to be carried away to the enjoyment of the same happiness with Abraham. And this is only for the Israelites. So, Abraham's bosom is symbolic for the kingdom of heaven. Right? So, let's go into Genesis. The 12th chapter. In verse 1, now Yahweh has said unto Abram, before Abram changed his name into Abraham, get you out of your count, it's like get you out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, referring to the Israelites. And I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curse you. And in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Referring to the Israelites, right? So let's go into Genesis, same book, 17th chapter. And verse 1. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, Yahweh appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty Power. Walk before me and be you perfect. Okay, walk is symbolic for how a person regulates 
their lifestyle utilizing the scriptures. Verse 2, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly, hence the Israelites. And Abram fell on his face, and the Most High talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Neither shall your name any more be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made you, and I will make you exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come out of you, Israelites, and I will establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto you and to your seed after you. And I will give unto you and to your seed after you, the Israelites, the land wherein you are a stranger, all the land of Canaan, okay, that fertile crescent, all right, the land of Israel, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their power. And the Most High said unto Abraham, You shall keep my covenant, therefore you and your seed after you in their generations. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your seed after you. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Exodus 2 and 24. And the Most High heard their groaning, the Israelites, during during the captivity uh, when we were at it, during the captivity when we were in Egypt. So again, Exodus 2 and 24. And the Most High heard their groaning, and the Most High remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Again, with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob, trickling down to the 12 tribes of Israel. So again, Luke 16 and verse 19, Abraham's bosom is also symbolic for the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. Okay, Lord, will you were edified, Shalom.